I'm James Moore with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at the Industrial Scientific Ventus MX4. And we're going to be replacing an oxygen sensor in here. And you need two screwdrivers. You need the star screwdriver and a Phillips head. Now, some units have a Phillips head, some have a star, so you're just going to have to look at which unit you have. And you're going to need to choose the right screwdriver. So, first, we're going to pop this pin here. And this is a retaining screw, so it'll stay in there, it's not going to go away. Unscrew that, and then you want to pull this downward here. I'm going to show you. First, pull, get that screw out. There it goes. So now, see it's out to the side. Now you can pull this down and flip this up. If you have a diffusion detector, your monitor is going to look a little bit more like this from the get. It's okay. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to unscrew the four screws in back here. Okay, now we've got the screws out. We're just gonna pull the unit here straight out. Now, the first time you do it, it might be a little difficult. You might have to pry it just a little bit. And sometimes, there we go. You might feel like you're putting too much pressure, and if you feel like you are, you can just kind of wiggle the screws out just a little bit out of the back. And sometimes that'll be enough that you can get a separation. There we go. Okay, now this is your battery here. We're gonna put that to the side. And here's the unit here. Now we got two more screws right up here. Okay, now you can see the unit comes apart a little easier and you just pull it straight away there. Okay, inside we have our sensors. Here's our CO, here's our hydrogen sulfide, this is our LEL combustible sensor, and this is our oxygen sensor. Now today we're gonna to be looking at replacing the oxygen sensor. So we're just gonna grab the cell, and we're just gonna kinda of wiggle it straight up. And you're trying to, not to put your fingertips on these little Teflon discs here. It's okay, now we get the sensor out. You see there's a few pins in the bottom and also a chip going to go to our new sensor here, open it up. Now this part's very, very important. You have to remove this shorting clip right here on the bottom. So all you need to do is pop that right off. And if you don't do this, the monitor won't function properly, so make sure you do it. Then we're going to install the sensor. You just kind of wiggle the pins in and then go straight down. And you just want to make sure that it makes contact with the board well in the back. Okay, now we're all set. Go ahead and flip that back over. You screw these screws in here. Grab the case. Finish putting the screws in. Okay, now the final one. All you do is click this back up in here. You can see I've already done it. And then finish screwing this retaining screw in. Okay, now you've installed the oxygen sensor. The next step is to put the monitor down and wait for about an hour. Give that sensor some time to stabilize inside there. It has a lot of built up charge and it has to burn it off real quick. And then once that's done, you just start up the unit, put it through a zero and a calibration, and then you'll be all set to go. Make sure you record your serial numbers and uh, make sure you check the warranty date of the sensor because if it died before the warranty was done, you might be due a free sale. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. The number here is 734-956-0539, or you can find us on the web at idealcalibrations.com, where you can find calibration gas and any of the parts you might need to do the repairs. Thanks, and stay safe out there.